I, I know what you're saying, but hold yourself together, because I'm going to get this sorted. Agreed, agreed. He said he came from Jamaica, he owned a couple acres, a couple fake visas, cause he never got his papers. Give up on love with them heartbreakers, cause he was making money with the movers and the shakers. He was mixed with a couple things, born with a couple rings, grams on the side and the grams to sing, sing left arm baby on the Five year bit up north when they read it. Anyway, I felt him, belt him, pelt him, put him on Lock Street, belt him. Took him out to Belgium, welcome. This pretty death seldom. You call me Mommy D? I like it when you be drunk and you like it when I be sober. Look at that's top of the top and the 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 top of the top. Of the top, of the top. I'm in the zone. Um, uh. I'm a gangster, I'm a straight up G, the gangster life is a life for me. First time she was in my math class. Long hair, brown skin with a Step aside and used to laugh, had past notes. The teacher always got mad cause we passed jokes. And I never did this before, no. I never did this before, no. And I never did this before, no. And I never did this before, no. I was brought up in some well good house, yeah? It was nice, it was like a castle. People respect me and my family. Um, but my dad died and it was so, so sad. Everyone was distraught. Me and my mum were crying for days and days. But it wasn't long before my uncle Samuel decides to move in on my mum and she like falls for him and they're now married. I find that so depressing that my uncle is now my stepdad and he like moved in in my dad's place. I got to a point I was on our roof because we have a well paying roof yet. I went up there with my mates, Tim and Tom, and we were looking around and he, they're like, there's a ghost over there. I'm like, whoa, what are you doing? I'm half, I'm freaking out, I'm shaking. I'm going, no, this isn't even real. Why is there a ghost? And this ghost is, he says to me, he says to me that my uncle, the one that's now my stepdad, killed my father whilst he was sleeping. I could, I could not breathe. I was, it was the most shocking news I've ever had in my life. Uh, wait, 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 hold it there. You're saying your wife did it to the man? Do you want me to sort him out? Now, you're, you're confusing me a little bit here. I want you to speak clearly. Speak your mind. Okay, I got it. And I dial my mate Michael's number and I go, hello, bro, what are you doing on Saturday night? And he says, oh, I'm not doing anything. I'm cool. I'm cool. And I'm like, well, can you bring some of your mates and come to my, my crib and maybe do a play for my family? The moment that in the play, the uncle decides to kill his brother, he freezes and he goes into like a panic attack. I don't know what even's going on yet. I'm well freaked out. But it's kind of funny because I know what's going on but no one else does. Born with a couple rings, grams in the side to sing, sing. Left arm baby mother teared it. And I was like, I'm gonna turn up. I'm gonna get my gun, I'm gonna shoot him. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna walk over. My mum's gonna be okay. She'll be a bit sad at the beginning but it'll be fine. I go into my mum's room and I hear like a male voice. He wasn't saying anything, but it was like a little grumble, like, ugh. Did you get that, man? I grab my gun. It's so nice. And um, I aim it at the curtain and I shoot. And I've killed him. I pull back the curtain to reveal, oh my god, what have I done? I c 
could not believe it. Like, there's this girl I really like, but I killed her dad thinking he was my uncle. I wanted to marry her. She doesn't like me anymore. I killed her dad. And her brother was like hunting me. I come back a few months later. The guy that's been hunting me decides to ask me, would you like to have a duel? But a friendly one. It wasn't like, you know, I'm going to kill you now, mate. Little did I know that he dunked his sword in a bottle of really bad poison that could kill me. As soon as you scratch it, I'm dead. He scratches me. I start to feel a little, you know, <clears throat> little ill. I'm going to die any minute. So I decide I'll go for the plunge, just kill him, get my revenge before I'm gone. So he's dead. I'm dead. He's back there. Uh, Jimmy! No, he doesn't want to come out here. I said, remember what I told you? We've, we've sorted things out, we're mates now, it's okay. Um, I think it's good. I'm, I'm in a really nice place. I'm in a good situation. Uh, this man named God was really kind to me. He offered me some pizza. I was like, yeah, bruh, he's on my good books. I'm a gangster. I'm a straight up G. The gangster life is the life for me. I'm a gangster.